Welcome back. In this video, the objective is that students will be able to perform rotations. But I have my own personal objective, which is to get this video on heavy rotation on YouTube. Well, I can dream, can't I? What is a rotation? A rotation turns a figure about a fixed point called the center of rotation. Here's an example. We rotate to blue point, point P. 180 degrees counterclockwise about the center C to get the image P prime. In fact, the most common rotations are 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees about the origin. Notice these are all multiples of 90, so we better remember our rule about perpendicular lines, which is that they have negative reciprocal slopes. For instance, two, fi uh, two fifths and negative five halves. That's going to help us with our rotations. I'm going to start by just showing a simple example of rotating this blue point 5, 2, 5, 2, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees about the origin. So how do you rotate 90 degrees? Let's start with that one. Well, what you should recognize is that 5, 2 is, from the origin, is over 5 and up 2. Okay? To get a 90 degree rotation, you need to count the negative reciprocal of the slope, which is 2 fifths. So you'd count up 5 to the left 2. And that would bring you to the point negative 2, 5. There's a 90 degree rotation. A 180 degree rotation would bring you 90 degrees more past the point negative 2, 5, and it would bring you to the point negative 5, negative 2. And finally, 270 degree rotation would bring you 90 more degrees to get to the point 2, negative 5. Now, this suggests the following rules. I'll leave this up. These are the coordinate rules for rotations about the origin, counterclockwise rotations about the origin. For a rotation of 90 degrees, AB becomes negative BA. For 180 degrees, AB becomes negative A, negative B. And for 270 degrees, AB becomes B, negative A. And we're going to apply these rules in the next couple of examples. This example, we're going to rotate an entire triangle, 180 degrees, counterclockwise about the origin. We're going to rotate triangle ABC with the vertices listed, and we're going to rotate at 180 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So we'll be using this rule, which says AB becomes negative A, negative B. So A prime, to get A prime, to get each of these, you're just going to take the opposite of each coordinate. So negative 5, 2. A prime is going to be 5, negative 2. B prime, that's going to be negative 0. No, just 0, negative 1. And C prime, that's going to be 3, negative 3. So now we just graph the points. There's A prime. There's B prime, there's C prime, we connect the vertices, and there's our image. Let's look at an example where we're rotating a quadrilateral this time. We're going to rotate it, the quadrilateral with the vertices listed, 270 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So here's the rules again. We're going to be using this rule. So AB becomes B negative A. R prime is going to be 1 negative 3. S prime, 1 negative 5. T prime, negative 3, negative 5. And finally, oh, let's not forget U prime, negative 1, negative 2. 
graph each each uh, point. Here's R prime, S prime, P prime, and U prime. And there's your image. Okay. Example three. What about when we're trying to rotate, not about the origin, but about some other point? I'd like to show you an example of that. Okay, so here's the example. We're going to rotate the, the blue point A, 3, 5, about the point 3, 3. What does that look like? Well, you can't use your coordinate rules here, guys, because we're not rotating about the origin. So what I'd recommend doing is drawing a, a little segment, like the dashed segment here, connecting the center of rotation with the point you're trying to rotate, and then it'll be easy to see that a 90 degree rotation will just be that. And it will lead to the image A prime, which is 0.13. Lastly, I just wanted to look at example 4 here, which is an example where we're going to not only not rotate about the origin, but we're going to rotate clockwise. Well, we haven't done that yet, so I'm going to Go back to the coordinate rules of rotations, and I want to say a few more things about that. Okay, I wanted to talk about actually clockwise rotations. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate some clockwise rotations in green here. Here's a 90 degree clockwise rotation of the point AB. Notice how it's the same, it ends up in the same spot as the 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. And a 180 degree clockwise rotation puts you in the same spot as a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. And finally, a 270 degree clockwise rotation puts you in the same place as a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So if you look back at example 4, where we're rotating 90 degrees clockwise, that means we're going to be rotating 270 degrees counterclockwise. So I'll connect the um, center of rotation with the point, and what we're looking at here is this. That kind of rotation, 270 degree counterclockwise rotation, and here's what it looks like as a clockwise rotation, a 90 degree clockwise rotation, will put you at the point 4, 0, and that is your point A prime, okay? So, let's summarize. These are the most common rotations, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, about the origin. Those are the ones that will come up the most frequently. And we have rules for those, which are shown here in this, in this um, table. Now, if you, ever, if you ever forget these rules, remember, you can generate the rules yourself just by choosing a simple point like 5, 2 and rotating it and remembering the rule about perpendicular lines, which is that they have negative reciprocal slopes. But also keep in mind that these rules only apply to counterclockwise rotations about the origin. Okay, and you may need to perform a clockwise rotation. You may need to perform a rotation about a point that's not the origin.